What's going on guys? Thanks for uh, tuning into my uh, video. So this is a update on my 2003 Honda TRX 300 EX. And uh, it's come a long way. Uh, I bought it, I purchased it for $80 cash. It came with no gas tank and no, I don't think it had, it had no rear wheel. So, but everything else was there, $80 cash, how could I turn that down, right? So, I bought it, um, bought it, I uh, brought it home, took it apart, like, all the way down to the bare frame, and, uh, I, you know, I didn't know what was wrong with it. He said it ran, but, um, so anyway, I took the whole thing apart, obviously, I, I repainted the frame, that came out nice, I ordered some new shocks, they're pretty sweet. Repainted the A-arms, you know, bars, uh, the swing arms over there, you know, all that st good stuff. Um, and then I got to, what, what did I do? Um, yeah, I ordered some new electrical, because the wiring harness was completely screwed up, and these things are only electric start, which sucks. Um, yeah, so I, ended, I got a gas tank, a plastic gas tank. I got a rear rear rim, but no tire. Um, yeah, I got, you know, the cheap stuff. You know, I got a new clutch lever, but... Um, so down here, here's the engine. And uh, two things that I found. Uh, first, first one was that nasty uh, cut in my case. So, yeah, that... That really sucks. So oil would come spewing right out of there. And then the one that, like, I was thinking, you know, maybe I could JB weld that, I could fix it, but the one that is really concerning is, uh, that one. I don't know if you can see that. Right here. Looks like he had the chain ball up on the case, and it completely screwed this up where this thread's in. So I have to split the case you know i have to i have to take the whole motor apart buy a new case this is also cracked the cover so i don't i don't know if you wrecked it i don't know what happened but i need a new case and a new um engine cover um and then after that like it has good compression i don't think it's screwed up i looked at the valves they're clean they're tight um so i'm just gonna Obviously, take it apart, see what the deal is. I'm probably just going to do that at BOCES. Um, I got the new electronics. And then we're going to see uh, where it goes from there. Uh, you know, but like, for 80 bucks, you really couldn't turn it down. And uh, this front bumper, I think I bought that off eBay for like 40 bucks. Pretty mint. Um, another grab bar, the rear grab bar was like 40 bucks. Um, those are the bars that came with it. Uh, I just painted that red. Um, I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna keep the headlight or not. I'm not sure yet. Probably, I'm probably gonna eliminate it. I um, painted the gas cap. All the all the cheap stuff, but yeah, I bought it for eighty bucks. I think I'm around. I don't know. I want to say like six hundred bucks in, which is not bad. You know, cause like by the end of it, you think if you. Th when it comes down to it, you know, you spend, you're spending a grand and then you have like a brand new quad, so that's, it's not bad, but here it is. This is how far I've gotten. It look, looks good, but uh, I'm hoping to get her done soon. That's the other thing, actually. I uh, had to buy a new rear axle because mine was, um, mine was totally bent up and scratched and rusted up. Um, I painted the swing arm, clearly, a uh, new rear sprocket, just because the other one was wasted, it was missing teeth, um, I found a skid plate for like 20 bucks on eBay, couldn't turn it down, um, there's the beauty in the back, but, uh, so yeah, uh, that's my quad right now, I haven't ridden a quad in a long time, so that sucks, I mean, they're fun, I mean, I love dirt bikes, but I love quads too, so um, thanks for tuning into the video, and uh, I'll update you guys when I get cranking on it again. Thanks for watching.